Mpox, a rare disease caused by the Mpox virus. This virus usually affects rodents, such as rats or mice, or non-human primates, such as monkeys, but it can occur in people. This virus is in the same family as the smallpox virus. Mpox is most common in Central and West Africa. However, in 2022, cases began to appear in other parts of the world. The virus can spread from animals to humans. It can also spread from person to person. While Mpox is not as contagious as some other viruses, it's important to understand how it spreads and how to protect yourself. The good news is that most people who get Mpox recover fully. The illness typically lasts two to four weeks. Scientists are working on treatments and vaccines to help control the spread of Mpox. Public health officials are closely monitoring the situation. Mpox symptoms usually appear within one to two weeks after infection. One of the first signs is often a fever. You may also experience chills, headache, muscle aches, and fatigue. A rash typically develops a few days after the fever begins. This rash often starts on the face and then spreads to other parts of the body. The rash goes through different stages. It starts as flat spots, then turns into blisters filled with fluid. These blisters eventually scab over and fall off. It's important to note that not everyone with Mpox develops all of these symptoms. Some people may only have a mild rash. Others may experience more severe illness. If you experience any unusual symptoms, especially if you have been in contact with someone who has Mpox, it's important to seek medical attention right away. Mpox spreads through close contact. This contact can be with an infected person or animal. You can get Mpox from touching the rash, sores, or body fluids of someone who has the virus. Contact with contaminated materials can also spread the virus. This includes things like bedding, clothing, or towels used by an infected person. The virus can also spread through respiratory droplets. These droplets are released when an infected person coughs or sneezes. While Mpox can spread through the air, it typically requires prolonged close contact. This is different from viruses like measles or COVID-19, which can spread more easily through the air over longer distances. There are several things you can do to protect yourself and others from Mpox. One of the most effective ways to reduce your risk is to practice good hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially after using the restroom, before eating, and after touching surfaces in public places. Avoid close contact with people who are sick, especially if they have a rash or other Mpox symptoms. If you are caring for someone with Mpox, wear protective gear like gloves and a mask to avoid contact with the virus. Vaccination is another important way to protect yourself from Mpox. While there is no vaccine specifically for Mpox, the smallpox vaccine can provide some protection. Talk to your doctor to see if vaccination is right for you. If you think you may have Mpox, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. A doctor can diagnose Mpox based on your symptoms and a physical exam. There is no specific treatment for Mpox, but your doctor can recommend ways to manage your symptoms. This may include over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, to reduce fever and discomfort. Getting enough rest and staying hydrated are also important for recovery. Most people with Mpox recover fully within a few weeks. However, some people may develop more serious complications. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and to keep them informed of any changes in your condition. By taking steps to protect yourself and others, and by seeking prompt medical attention if you experience symptoms, you can help control the spread of Mpox.